happy Monday everybody this is a bit of a bonus video because um, sadly my Pilates instructor isn't very well so I've had the night off so I thought I'd escape to my craft room and I've used um, a stamp set that I've only used once and I thought I'd explored a little bit further so this is the card I'm going to make tonight and if you can just see there all these little doilies are heat embossed and then I've done a bit of ink blending then around the corners so let me show you what we're going to use I'm using this bundle here called Dear Doily and if you buy this bundle you save 10% for buying it as a bundle and it's in the occasions catalogue and even though it might carry over to the next catalogue they won't offer it as a bundle again so this is the perfect time to buy it and if you do buy it now you get to choose a free item from the celebration catalogue because you'll have hit a qualifying order there so this is the one i'm going to be using these two lovely big doilies this sentiment this sentiment and this little flower and i'm also using the stitched shape framelets here from the occasions catalogue and i'm using flirty flamingo soft sea foam so saffron and i used pear pizzazz on the little um stems and leaves of the flower so here we go i'm going to show you again and then i'm going to start the easiest thing as well to do is because this one is such an intricate one if you use the um multi-purpose adhesive sheets it's so much easier to stick it down than with with wet glue or anything and the same goes for this little border piece here so I'm going to put this one aside and I'm going to bring in the things I prepared. I'm doing it this way round. And those two colours together remind me of a sweet that I used to eat in the 80s and I can't think what it is. I don't know whether it's rhubarb and custard or fruit salad, but those colours are really giving me a, a bit of a, an old sweet vibe. So what I'm going to do first, my best bit of advice for heat embossing is use a heat uh, sorry an embossing buddy just to wipe over your card to ensure there's no static so you don't have stray bits of things sticking when you're trying to emboss and i'm going to use white embossing powder here and obviously when you are heat embossing you're looking for an ink that is slow drying and this one is a, a wow embossing pad because I can't put my finger on my Versafine one. So, there we go. It is a nice intricate die, sorry, stamp, but it heat embosses really well. So I'm not going to inflict all of the heat embossing on you. I'm just going to show you how I'm just randomly stamping them all over. And because this one takes a little bit longer again to dry... It gives me the chance to do quite a bit of stamping before I heat. I'm going to heat the big ones, then I'm going to heat the little ones. Because obviously when you're heat, when you're embossing, it's quite hard to see. I mean, I, you have no idea that I've done anything on there at the moment. Oh, yeah, just about. And just to add to the randomness of it, I'm just going to stamp some of the corners and there we go so i'm now going to bring in this and i'm going to hold it up now and all one-handed i'm going to just sprinkle heat emboss powder as it comes out in one huge clump all over I love the idea of when they use them in a big Tupperware container with a spoon, but at the moment in this craft room, I wouldn't have the room to store the big Tupperware containers. These little pots I can deal with. There we go. Now, if you have it stuck where you don't want it, just give it a little gentle tap. So there it is now. And I'm just going to heat emboss it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop the camera for now. So I'm going to have the noise of it. And then I'll be back with you in a second. Right, so I'm back. I've done all the heat embossing. 
and as you can see i've stamped some of the smaller ones as well now if you look at my white embossing powder over the years of using it in craft club and things it's picked up other sort of embossing powders so you can see that there's little flecks of other colors in there but that isn't going to matter right now because i'm going to add ink to it but as much as possible try and keep your white ink powder completely clean so i'm just going to use these little ink daubers here and i'm picking up so saffron and what i tend to do is give it a bit of a rub on your scratch scratch paper first and then gently i'm moving in a circular motion there we are and obviously because of the heat embossing is going to resist the ink in that color in sorry in that area and what we'll do then we'll use a nice soft cloth to take the ink off the heat embossing so i want all of them to be yellow at the center and then they're going to be working out then i'm going to be adding flirty flamingo and soft sea foam then in between i think in all the years i've been doing paper crafting i think heat embossing is still really magical just when you see it go from being a powder there we go so far go from being a powder then and then you see it going shiny and then it completely changes and it always makes a card look extra special so i'm gonna add a clean one on now my pink one for flirty flamingo and again just stamp off gently and then keep moving in a circular motion there we are in the spaces there we go and, and don't press too hard if you press down too hard you're going to have the imprint of the sponge and you don't want that you want it to be nice and gentle on there so it doesn't matter too much if you go on to your your so saffron as well and then i'm going to put that one back and i'm just going to bring in a little bit of soft sea foam there we go now even though this is a really juicy ink pad it's quite a pale color there we are so as you can see i'm just holding it really gently and just working the color in there we are so that's the sort of effect i just want that soft mottle sort of effect i'm just going to fill in a little bit of a space there so when you're done with that then i've got a bit of well actually there is a bit of old pajamas just cotton and then i'm going to buff it all up then and what it'll do is clean off any ink that's resting on the on the heat embossed areas and it just brings the shine of it back again there we go right so that's the finished piece there so there's nothing too sort of in your face it's quite it's just nice and gentle and subtle there. so what i'm going to do now i'm actually going to lay it onto here ready i often get a penny when i craft and then i just assume i've always got a penny on so i'm forever rubbing my hands in my clothes when i haven't do the same when i'm cooking as well if i think i've got a penny on so just laying it all down 
Oh. I'm just going to trim a little bit down the bottom off because I think I've left a slightly bigger edge down there. And that's where wet glue comes into his own because at least then I could have wriggled it around a bit. There we go. I do like flirty flamingo. Right, so I'm just going to bring it in again. There we are. So, I'm, as you can see, I've already stamped my sentiment saying words can't express. So I'm going to stick that down. I'm going to use a bit of Tombow. Here I go, doing the shake. Yeah. I'm going to stick that down just around here. And just hold it on gently. And another little tip I've got. Know that you're back in strip from your multi-purpose thing. You can give it a bit of a rub on there without it sticking to anything. And then if you've got any ink on your fingers, you're not transferring it to your card. So now here's my little outline doily. And using a sharp edge of a pokey tool, I'm going to carefully take off the protective back in and then this will just act exactly like a sticker now so I'm going to try and line it up with a little stitched marks I think it just goes just outside and once again I'm going to bring my bit of um, protective back in back in so I can press down and know that I'm not dirty in my card at all because I've got some ink on my fingers there it is. Then I'm going to do the same now with this one down the bottom. Actually, I'm going to give myself a straight edge by putting my border piece on first. And again, I have used multi-purpose adhesive on it. It's so much easier than trying to apply glue to all these little intricate shapes. There we go. Rub it down. And then I'm going to lay my sentiment strip. As you can see, I've made sure it's the same sort of size. I'm going to lay that up, buff it up against it then. There we go. And again, I'm going to press that down again. Keep my grubby fingers off. So here are my flowers. And what I did for the flower, the top part of the stamp, you can either do this with your right markers don't use your stamping blends because they will stain it. So, if you're doing it with a pen, with your your um, stamp, let me show you what I mean. You would then, so say the top of your stamp here, you would add your pink onto there and then the green onto your petals. And then you do a bit of huffing. And huffing is when you go <gasps> onto your stamped image before... Uh, when it's on your block, that is, sorry. So if it was on a block and you had your pen on it, <laughs> then stamp it down. You ought to hear us in Craft Club when I put the instructions to do some huffing. It sounds like we've all run a marathon or something. I did it, actually, because it's quite a, an easy one to do. I just did it with a stamp pad. And I made sure then that um, it was only going where I wanted it to go. So here I go again with my... A little bit safe in the knowledge that I'm not getting glue all over my fingers or ink all over my card. Bring in my second flower. So I did the one flower in Flirty Flamingo and the other one then in So Saffron. So just dot, dab in a bit of glue. And I'm just going to cross the bottom stems but then offset them. There we are. And in comes then my little tiny bow. My next one. 
again with the sticky uh, adhesive on it I'm just going to press that down like that and that's the card front I'm going to I'll put some pearls on in a second but first I'm going to stick it the front of my card there we are let's make sure I get it didn't think I'd put tape on there then but I was losing the plot there we go and I'm just going to gently press down over and then I've got some basic pearls and I'm just going to add pearls to the centre of my little doilies just to add a little bit of extra detail little tinkers to get hold of like that I think I'll put one in the centre of my bow as well and I'm just going to put one there because I know it's popping off the side just there and there we go my card is complete so if you can see then there's just the the inked effect in the background with the heat resist um, from the heat embossing and you can see then that the light, if if it'll show on the camera, you can see that the light will pick up the shininess of the heat embossing. And one more little tip before you go. Little strips like this. And you think, oh, what am I going to do with this? Keep it in a pot because they're the perfect size for sentiments. Then you need a little strip sentiment. You've got one ready to go. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Nikki from Nikki Nags Paper Crafts. And tonight we have used the doily and the thinlets that go with it. And we've also used the stitch shape framelets. So remember, this is the perfect time to buy the bundle because they won't appear as a bundle in the next catalogue. And you do save 10% on them. If you have, haven't have got um, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be able to help you. And here's my selling page here. A huge welcome to all my new subscribers if you haven't yet subscribed i would dearly love you to press the subscribe button and if you hit the little notification bell then you'll be told of all my upcoming videos so tomorrow is my 10 minute tuesday that's scheduled to post at seven o'clock tomorrow morning so if, if you're up early drinking a cup of tea and you're looking for something to watch you know where to go so hoyle vowed thank you so much for watching take care and i'll see you in the week Bye.